How many sexes are there? Anyone who has taken basic biology might be able to confidently give you an answer of two, with a chromosomal XX for females and XY for males. However, although that is what you would learn in basic biology, that's not quite true in real world biology. I'm gonna give you two examples. First example, someone with XX chromosomes may also have congenital adrenal hyperplasia, where the body makes extra testosterone and 17-hydroxy progesterone. This may lead to physical traits that are typically associated with male development, including different genital appearance, larger muscles, different body hair distribution, and a deeper voice. Second example, someone can have XY chromosomes but have androgen insensitivity, where the body cells are unable to respond to the male hormones, resulting in the outwardly apparent female genital appearance breast development, and a higher pitch voice. Despite having XY chromosomes, many individuals with complete androgen insensitivity identify as female. Some people say that these are exceptions to the rule, but in science, exceptions often help us realize that our understanding of the rules may need to be updated. We humans like to develop mental shortcuts and categories to simplify the world around us, but the real world of biology exists along spectrums, not dichotomies. This video is educational and scientific, and until recently, it wouldn't have even crossed your mind to label it as political, because it's not. Make sure to like and follow, and I'll see you next time.